I went down to a different water system this morning, found a dead zander and a few perch. I feared the worst and I've come along my local waterway and in just a short distance we've got this. So in the bottom of our bucket we've probably got in amongst the weed, we've got perch, two pound and a half. I've got a bream down there to about three pounds. Got two pike, biggest one about three pounds and probably no exaggeration there are hundreds and hundreds of little perch, roach, bleak and skimmers. We've had an exceptionally hot summer and sadly this results in one thing and that is really dangerously high water temperatures. That combined with thunderstorms just produces really deoxygenated water really really quickly and causes things like this. So we have got probably over 100 fish in our bucket, we've gone a short distance on a local waterway and sadly we're we're just seeing death and carnage. So we're trying to clear up as best we can, but we need to keep an eye out what's happening on our local waterways. The environment agents are involved, they're shooting down here now, so hopefully we can prevent further fish kills. Many but not all fish kills in the summer result from low concentrations of dissolved oxygen in the water, so this is not a new occurrence. Thankfully, it only happened in an isolated area on my local waterway, but as you can see, there were many, many fish casualties. The Environment Agency have been monitoring the situation since the weekend, and as you can see from this short video clip, a member of their team had been down yesterday to check the dissolved oxygen levels in the water. If you are planning a predator trip to the fen drains over the next couple of weeks, then please stop. These fish are really struggling at the minute on all the fen and waterways, and any undue stress will just cause further damage. So let's protect our fisheries and let's be sensible. Mm -hmm.